I think I love you. That's too bad. I actually saw Atomic Blonde in theaters when it first came out, and I did never got around to making a video, so I feel like I have a second chance now that the Blu-ray is coming out on Tuesday. Or Digital HD, if you already have it. Don't, don't get digital. Why do you get Digital HDs, man? Don't you want, like, to have your Blu-rays in a shelf? All the little spines? Come on, the physical copy. Get the physical copy. I've heard, I have heard Atomic Blonde described as Chick Wick, basically John Wick with a girl. It's not directed by the same guys, but I do believe some of the same stunt choreographers worked on it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can, you can totally tell in, in the fight scenes. Like, these are damn good fight scenes. When they're happening, the action is great. The camera is nice and smooth, nice and far back. You'll see four, five, six hits in one shot. It doesn't cut between every single blow. Charlie Theron went through a lot of stunt training and her physical acting is phenomenal. There is a 20-25 minute single one take in this movie and it's a stairway fight and it like goes down the stairwell and in through rooms and then outside into a car and it is fantastic. It is beautiful. It is action filmmaker's wet dream come true. That stuff is so impressive to me how someone has to like start putting blood on themselves in the middle of a shot without anybody noticing. How the camera's gotta follow him just exactly the correct way the whole time so that there's probably a guy with a microphone behind him too hiding in the corner backing up into the stairwell. Away. It's some of the finest stunt fighting I've ever seen, and Charlie Stern does a damn good job in it, too. Unfortunately, whenever that is not happening, the movie's boring as hell. As good as Charlie Theron is when she's fighting, when she's just, you know, acting, she's so boring. Her character sucks, man. James McAvoy does a good job, but they keep throwing this, like, oh, who do I trust, spy, thriller, Cold War thing, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not... I'm not falling for this. James McAvoy's acting is good and he's fun to watch, but he's about the only one in the whole movie who is so. This movie commits like the worst film sin ever. It's like the whole movie is told as a flashback. Like the beginning of the movie, it shows Charlie Theron, you know, all cut and bruised up, retelling this story. Why? What does that add to the movie? Why would you do that? One, it gives us a boring scene that we constantly have to cut back to, her exactly just telling, narrating, expositioning what you're seeing on screen to the evil Nazi scientist dude from Captain America. And two, we now know that she makes it out alive, and it sucks all the tension out of the movie. Atomic Bond is a very well shot movie. There's a lot of cool blue, purple, neon stuff, kind of like John Wick, and kind of like, you know, the font of the Atomic Blonde. On the, on the logo, on the title card. It's a very sleek looking movie, some very good action, and I like the whole asset protection thing where they gotta like escort a dude here, keep him alive essentially, and when the action is on screen, it is great, but it is not on screen enough, and the story itself is very generic spy thriller nonsense. And the whole flashback debriefing thing was a horrible idea, and I'll give Atomic Blonde a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? I do think it is worth it though, just for that sweet, awesome one take scene. And it is a watchable movie. It wasn't like putting me to sleep, but it is very uninspired and it is the definition of style over substance. 